well, I think we all know this thing's not going to go back in this bag the same way it came out. So, packed up all nice and neat. Now let's get it out of there and put it together. Hey guys, welcome to my first video of the year. Uh, in reality, it's my first video in over a year. Uh, putting the tent up. It's a little hotter than I thought it was gonna be out here today. And uh, pretty hot, so I thought I'd uh, stop and drink a little water, say hello. Um, I'm out of my brother's house camping. Um, uh, thought I'd just get out here and, and, and dig all my camping gear out and, uh, and get things organized. Um, the weather was beautiful all week and today is, uh, is, is the same. A little hotter today, but nonetheless, uh, I get home built here, uh, go through all my stuff, organize my camping gear and, and try to get a little video out. So anyway, uh, took a little break, grab some water. I need to get back to putting that tent up. Quite a few guy lines on this thing. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna mess with the ones in the back. I guess it depends on how windy it's gonna get tonight. I'm not sure. I don't think we're gonna get any rain. It should be pretty nice. There's almost no wind, so. Right now it's hot. As soon as, as, soon as it cools down, I'll start thinking about a fire and dinner. All right, home is built and I am hot. It's the hottest part of the day. I meant to get out here earlier, just uh, didn't make it, but uh, it is uh, somewhere above 90 degrees today, the hottest day of the year so far. Uh, beautiful day though, started out cloudy and rainy. We got a little bit of rain and um, it warmed up and uh, sun's shining now. I think I'm actually sunburned a little. Uh, I got a few more, um, bows to put in, a little fiberglass poles to put in this door. Um, I might put them in, I might not, I'm not sure, but for right now I'm hot, I'm thirsty. And I'm gonna do one of these. Uh, I can get it in there. Uh, Imperial IPA, Voodoo Ranger. I don't think I've ever had one. Got it at the local Walmart, I'm gonna try it out.
Voodoo Ranger, here goes, first try. Well, it's got flavor to it. Um, it's not bad, it's good. Um, I think the stuff's like 9% by volume, so it's got a little kick. Um, hard to describe it, uh, just a strong taste, strong tasting beer, like a wheat beer. It's called an Imperial IPA. Uh, reminds me a little bit of like some of the Boulevard's, uh, Boulevard wheat or something, except a little stronger taste. I'm probably not the person to describe a beer, but I um, thought I'd give it a shot anyway. <sighs> All right, it is time for me to sit and just relax a little bit. I have not even stepped inside this tent. This is a brand new Coleman Montana eight person tent. Way too big for me on a solo camp. Um, I ran across it on Amazon for uh, just a little over a hundred bucks, 108 I think. And uh, I thought I might pick it up in case uh, um, you know, my wife ever comes camping with me. Um, I doubt it. My wife or stepdaughter, um, we always talk about camping, but they never seem to um, never seem to be able to make it. So if they do, we will have plenty of room in this tent. So I picked it up. Um, probably need to pick up another tent for me um, to do um, uh, solo camping and for, uh, for just general purpose videos. Uh, but I wanted to get this thing set up and check it out and uh, So I did it's um, a little tougher to set up than I thought it would be It's a pretty big tent um, Not horrible though uh, two people with two people it would have went by I think a lot nicer would have went a lot smoother, but with one person um, It's not horrible um, I uh, I probably set it up in less than an hour, but I took a couple breaks so uh, Not that bad I think uh, I'll sit here and relax and chill a little bit. Um, I don't know what time it is. I think it's getting later, maybe around seven o'clock. Um, it's still pretty warm out. I'm gonna chill out a little bit before I think about a uh, fire. It's starting to cool down a little now, so I'll start thinking about some firewood and uh, what's gonna happen for dinner. Um, I probably, should say some good things about my brother. I don't know if I can turn this around or not, but um, this whole space that I'm in, he went ahead and mowed it down uh, for me. So not fighting any long grass or weeds or anything out here. Um, uh, so I dropped off some wood up here last weekend, sort of pre-positioned some uh, wood I found alongside the road. So, um, and my brother was nice enough to, uh, add, uh, add a few things to it and then, um, and, uh, go ahead and mow everything. So it's beautiful out here, uh, not having to fight with the weeds and the tall grass. So shout out to my brother who probably won't watch the video, but, uh, sure appreciate the, the effort to help me out. So thanks to my brother, Randy, I've got a nice nice place to camp here here we go here's a shot of everything around where I'm camping I'm gonna build a fire right there uh, everything's nice and mowed in any case it's time to get some wood and get a fire going
Yeah, let's go see and go ahead and let's go ahead and see if we can get a fire started. Got this funky new lighter. Let's see if we'll see if it'll start up a flame here. Got a cheap fire starter from Walmart. I think a box of like, yeah, I don't know, 20, 18 or 20. Looks like it worked out pretty well. Right, let's step inside the tent for a minute. I'm, I'm in the corner. This is a big tent. So this is my twin size air mattress sleeping bag. I got plenty of room for at least two people in here and lots of gear. I got a table down there, water, two backpacks. You know, I got some stuff. There's plenty of extra room. Um, you could fit two queen size air mattresses in here easy enough. Um, this is a, a pretty spacious tent. Um, so lots and lots of room. If my wife ever does come camping with me, then uh, we'll be all right in here. Um, I also like this tent. And I might do a, a, a um, complete review on it at some point in time after I use it a few times. But another thing I like about it is it's got a full bottom and like a bathtub uh, bottom. So it keeps the bugs out. Uh, keeps the critters out. Don't know yet how well it keeps the rain out. Uh, we'll find that out, I guess, if we ever get a rain while I'm camping. But anyway, here you go inside of the tent. I've heard people talk about uh, widow makers, but this son of a gun right here might be the poster child. I think most of this tree is dead. Some pretty big branches hanging off of each direction. Uh, uh, I'm a distance away from it. Uh, my tent is safe, at least. Um, so, should be all right. I think my truck is parked a safe distance. Uh, just something to think about. I have started a fire. It's still a little warm, but um, it's cooled down. The sun's down now. And I'm just kind of chilling out. My brother came down and um, he's acting like he wants to light up a bonfire that he had. He had a bunch of wood stacked up. And um, uh, since we had a little rain this morning and it's not windy today, he thought he might um, light that up. So um, I'll probably walk on up to the house um, or drive and uh, have a beer with him uh, and, and enjoy the fire and um, then head on back. 
Uh, for dinner, I'm doing um, the easiest thing you can do camping, which is throw a hot dog on a stick and, and cook it over a fire. And I got some buns and, and mustard and um, hot dogs, and that's it. Um, so, um, easy peasy, and it's pretty good. You know, right about now, I think it's time for another, uh, what was that, Voodoo Ranger? Voodoo Ranger. It's a pretty strong beer. I haven't drank in a while, honestly, uh, so drank a few of those, and uh, they're a little stronger than your average beer. I don't know if there's enough light for uh, the camera to pick me up right now. Um, should be enough light on the fire. I went ahead and stoked the fire up. I just uh, hung out with my brother for a little while. We, we had a bonfire. We had a much bigger fire up at, at the house. Went ahead and just walked up there, completely skipped dinner. Um, and now I'm just back here. I'm gonna I'm gonna revamp the fire, uh, stoke up the fire a little bit. And uh, grab one more little beer and sit and relax a little bit and um and then um and then go to bed. I'm not sure what time it is. Guessing somewhere, I don't know, 9 30, 10. I'm not even sure. But I'm gonna grab one more beer here and just sit and chill by the fire. I am ready to turn in for the night. So the sleep system is fairly simple. It's an air mattress, Christmas present from a very, uh, very cool wife who supports my camping habit or my wannabe camping habit. And the, um, Sleeping bag is the same. It's a B Sport or Best Sport or B Sport or something. Uh, another Christmas present. And uh, you got your average Disney pumpkin uh, blanket there and a pillow. Not exactly roughing it, but uh, you got plenty of room for stuff like this in this tent. So. I'm going to turn in for the night. I'll see you in the morning for breakfast and coffee. Good morning. Um, I'm not sure what time it is. I think it's about 5. Last time I checked my phone. It's about 5 o'clock. Uh, this iPhone I'm filming on doesn't keep the right time for some reason. It's I mean, it's an old phone that's not really in service. But I thought they still kept time. Anyway, I slept pretty good. Slept okay. I was up up a couple times to go to the bathroom, uh, you know. But that's normal for me. So uh, had a um, some kind of critter sniffing around the tent. I think about four o'clock. Not sure what it was, but. Uh, I think I'm up I'm tired, but don't seem to be able to go back to sleep. So I'll uh, probably get up and start thinking about coffee.
that worked pretty well. Uh, there's an expansion to the bag. If you rip it off the bottom, lets the bag expand. So that's going to be good enough to store until next time. Yeah, and I'm just going to do a final walk through. Everything is just about packed up. Uh, draining the water, uh, finishing throwing things away. So I'm about out of here. If you've watched this far, thank you very much. Uh, please do me a favor, hit the like button. Um, I'm not going to ask anybody to subscribe until I start making good videos, really. Um, got everything picked up, left a spot here, it won't hurt anything. I do plan on coming back here. I think this was a good camping spot. It's not far away, and uh, I always have permission to camp it, mostly, I think. Um, here we are. Damn. I'll see you next time, guys.